Hello everyone, Fanta here, you're watching Fantavision, and today we're talking about Pokemon cards. Now, Pokemon cards have not been a part of my life since elementary school, which everybody just kind of collected, and that was fun for us for some reason, even though none of us knew how to play, and apparently that's happening again. Pokemon cards are selling out nationwide because people are collecting them. That's right, people are just collecting cards again because they're trying to relive their past childhood, they're feeling nostalgic, and for some reason, people have excess money during the pandemic. I guess it's because people aren't going out and doing things, but I guess they just have money to blow. I guess they're wasting their entire stimulus check on Pokemon cards. I don't know why, and the thing is, is that people are buying the new Pokemon cards. Yes, this whole wave of buying Pokemon cards again and having them actually sell out since, I believe they started reporting on it in February. I, I guess it's because people are opening up old Pokemon cards, which is just revamping that nostalgia and making people want to find rare cards in the new sets, which then people are selling online for insane prices. These values of these cards just keep going up and up and up for some of these rare cards. Some of them are like a thousand dollars if they're in perfect condition. So a lot of people are really trying to get after these chase rares and that's causing stores to just sell out. Now, of course, whenever something becomes incredibly hyped up like this, people have to ruin it because people are camping out in front of stores to get their hands on Pokemon cards, which again, Saying this out loud in 2021 and not the early 2000s is just really weird to me, especially because, again, people aren't buying these things to play with. I still don't know anybody that knows how to play the game. And you might be saying, well, Fanta, that's uh, confirmation bias or whatever the bias is. It's fine. The competitive scene has not existed since March of last year. So this entire time, there's no real competitive play going on that's being done by the Pokemon company. There's no giant tournaments. So the reasoning for buying competitive decks is just not there, unless you're saying like people are trying to keep their skills up or something like that. But you think people would be playing the online variants to not have to buy the Pokemon cards because Who's playing card games in person right now? I don't know. It seems like people are just buying these things to collect them. And there are popular streamers and YouTubers that are buying these old boxes and some newer boxes, opening them up, and like I said, just driving the hype to an overload to the point where people are causing violence over Pokemon cards. That's right. Now we're getting to the title of the video. Target is deeming Pokemon cards too dangerous to carry in their physical stores because fights have been breaking out over Pokemon cards. I want to let that sink in for a minute. Fights have been breaking out over Pokemon cards. That's right. 25 to 35 year olds are fighting and beating each other up over buying Pokemon cards. And this even dates back to when McDonald's was doing the 25th anniversary of Pokemon, and they were doing the Pokemon card packs, and the boxes of those Pokemon packs were being stolen, and then scalpers were buying them up, so they were buying tons of Happy Meals to make sure they got all the card packs. So basically, overall, any kids that still collect Pokemon cards were just kind of... <laughs> It's just shit out of luck because adults for some reason are collecting Pokemon cards again. I think the breaking point for Target was when I believe it was four 25 to 35 year olds were trying to beat up one person and that one person pulled a gun. They were threatening to beat him up and he pulled out a gun. So Target's like, yeah, for the safety of our employees and other customers, we're going to stop carrying these cards in our stores. Now, Walmart, for some reason, just doesn't care. Walmart's like, yeah, we're going to keep continuing to carry these. Our stores are dangerous anyway. That's not a quote. <laughs> they didn't say that, but they might as well. It's Walmart. But yeah, I mean, only Target so far is the store that is no longer carrying Pokemon cards. And apparently people don't care about Magic the Gathering because I'm seeing plenty of pictures online of empty shelves of where Pokemon used to be. And sports cards too, by the way. They stopped carrying sports cards. Do people still care about those? Apparently they do. I don't know. 
I'm not in like the collectible scene, so I don't know what's going on there. But you see this empty rack of where all these cards were, and then just a full shelf of Magic the Gathering, and it's hilarious. It just shows how Hasbro and Wizards of the Coast have kind of killed the hype for Magic the Gathering. Like, they're slowly bringing it back, but that's another topic for another day. It is funny, though, that there's no fever pitch for Magic the Gathering, even though people still play that card game. Lots of people still play that card game. And I'm sure lots of people play Pokemon, but, I mean, there are still tournaments for Magic. There are still like different types of decks that can be created. There are so many different ways to play Magic the Gathering, and it is a popular, very popular card game to play, not just collect. So it's it's just really funny to see that comparison of card game that not a whole lot of people are playing, but a lot of people are collecting, and card game that a lot of people are playing, but is not really selling out because, I mean, let's face it, booster packs are kind of a ripoff in stores anyway, which... Also kind of makes it curious as to how people are even making money off of just buying singular booster packs to crack and then sell the rares online. Like, there must be a good portion of these cards that are worth money to make it worth buying out the entire shelf of single booster packs. That's insane to me. I'm not going to get into the economics of trading card games and how to make money with trading card games, but normally you want to buy a booster box or a couple of booster boxes to put your chance up of getting money back from those boxes. And it's usually a lot cheaper to buy those booster boxes. So, again, super strange that this is happening with just single booster packs and other products that aren't booster boxes at a Target. But there you go. Just wanted to talk about that quick story about the fact that Pokemon cards are selling out again. The hype is back again for a game that I never understood how to play, still don't know how. And... It's not kids that are going crazy over it, it is man-children and scalpers. Let me know in the comments down below how you feel about this whole situation, what you think about Target no longer carrying Pokemon cards and how dangerous these cards are, how people are reacting to this sort of thing. Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, leave a like if you guys like the video, subscribe for more content, and as always, have a fantastic day. See you, everybody.